idea of Pass the Badge as a campaign started with one of our volunteers. He would wear a badge and then he'd give badges out to people for 24 hours um, and tell them like his story and there was some messaging on the back about mental health and then ask them to wear the badge for 24 hours and then pass it on to someone else to wear for the next 24 hours and they passed it on again and again. So it wasn't just one person starting conversations kind of showing that this is for all of us to chat about it. Um, and then from that we wanted to develop it into a digital campaign. Um, we created that digital badge to kind of add to overlays and photos or to, to be used as a, as a badge to pass on on social media. So basically the, the concept is that for someone to start talking and what that does is by them kind of sharing something then hopefully what will happen is other people will share back. So hopefully what we'll be doing is we'll start with one conversation and then hopefully that'll, that'll branch out to maybe three conversations and those three conversations will turn to nine, turn to 27 and so on and so on. Why do you think that social media is a good place to speak about mental health? I think because there's so many different people on it that it's really, even though it doesn't feel it sometimes, it is really inclusive and you can sort of put problems out there or maybe talk about things that you wouldn't talk to your friends and family about and know that it's mostly complete strangers. So it sometimes feels a little bit less mm -hmm. terrifying. And I think an important thing to remember is that like, it doesn't need to be like depression, anxiety, whatever um, like mental health category you can fall into. Mm -hmm. There doesn't need to be like a big trauma that is in your life that has happened to you. Yeah. Like you don't need to- feel overwhelmed. Yeah, it, yeah. it can come from anything. The mind is a wonderful, Horrible place. Horrible place. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's, uh, it's usually with me, it is irrational. Yeah. And I, I, yeah. I, if I would sit down and go, okay, what made me feel like this? I would just end up getting anxious about it. Yeah. Going, oh my God, <laughs> that's what made me feel like this. Exactly. Nothing. Yeah. Everything yeah. is good. Yeah. 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 Why yeah. can't I breathe? Yeah. Everyone's different. Yeah. That's, the, that's the whole thing. Again, that's the whole point about this. Yeah, Everyone, exactly. every, every, everyone's experiences are, are different. Totally. And if you see that person who you think has this amazing life and is always like so put together and never has like a care in the world or you perceive them to never have a care in the world and then they're like I'm feeling really anxious or I'm really down or something you're like oh my god it, it's literally everyone mm -hmm. and it does make you feel a little bit better that you're not so like alone in the world and again it's it's about that loneliness you get lonely and you feel like I can't talk about this or this is this is all I am mm -hmm. and it is just about breaking out of that and realizing that you can talk about it to other people and other mm -hmm. people want to talk to you about it and they want to uh, tell you their stories and listen to your and listen and, and listen to the stories and kind of get it all out there like that's uh, such a big part of it I think it's so important as well like having people who have a close one love or a loved one who's suffering with mental health issues I think that it's so important for them to you know talk to people and yeah. make sure that they're engaged like you know chatting to someone who they feel safe and comfortable with even if as we've said before even if mental health hasn't touched their um, personal experience, I'm sure everyone out there knows someone who has, mm -hmm. so that should at least give people the the, um, the push that they need to you know start talking about it and pass the badge. I'm very aware that obviously there's a very high suicide rate for, for guys like myself. This, this year has been a lot of high profile incidences um, and for me a lot of um, what this campaign is for me as well is just, just to, to have people just reach out to their friends and just say that they're there and ask if they're like if, if they're okay so mm -hmm. this is a way for those people to maybe do it in a, in a in a way that they feel a little bit more comfortable they can use the badge that we created to start talking to mm -hmm. just go do you need me do you want to talk 